Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me today. It is absolutely gorgeous out. It's about 55. Really, really foggy out here. Um, yeah, one of the cooler mornings we've had so far. I had to actually kind of bundle up a little bit. I did forget my shoes, so all I got are uh, fuzzy Crocs, unfortunately. So my movement's going to be a bit <laughs> limited. I don't know how they're going to handle on these rocks, but got some tubes, some swimming dingers, a uh, new tube to the channel. New, uh, haven't done the swimming dingers on the channel yet, and uh, we're just going to try to get some fish on and uh, afterwards do a little bait review. But thanks for joining me, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed the uh, video. Hopefully, we'll key in on this early fall bite. Right, so we're going to start out with the old, uh, old danger. Once we get these consistent cooler days, this fishing's gonna just liven up around here. In November, December are my favorite times to fish uh, in the southeast. Good fish, guys. All right, first one. Well, that is refreshing. I did take the L yesterday, so. Let's see. Oh, looks like you got some battle damage. I'm gonna get you back in. Tiny little large mouth on our swimming dinger, I believe. Got a big old EWG on there. I was expecting to get some bigger ones. I did trim this down just a little bit. We're gonna keep going at it. It is still very, very early. I'm hoping to get a couple decent ones on today. Uh, I got some tubes I'm really stoked about throwing, but I'm waiting till we get a little more light. You can see it's very, very foggy out. Got a Pokemon card laying down there, that's weird. Somebody lost their chairs there. When I was in like third, fourth grade, Pokemon cards were so popular. I had a ton, my brother had a ton. A lot of good memories from that, I gotta say. What a rip off though. I mean, pack of cardboard, sold them for like six, seven bucks. They banned them at my school because kids were like trading and getting in fights all the time, ripping each other off. There's just no way there's not a fish up on this rip rap right now over here. Yes, big fish. Oh, right. Yes, I knew it, man. Oh, come on in. I just had a feeling. I was like, there's no problem. Right. That's a good bass. Ooh, easy, buddy. That's a good fish. All right. All right. Good morning. Beautiful. We got you good. I'm going to need a... Do I have any pliers? That's a real weird uh, way I got them hooked there. On the dinger. Dinger, I hardly know her. All right, look at this fish, beauty. I'm guessing like two and a half pounds for sure. Good looking fish, guys. Super stoked to pull her right off that rip rap. I had a feeling there was one sitting by that tree by that rock. We're gonna throw a couple more just in case, uh, make sure there aren't any others, but 
Super stoked to get her on. Way to start out the day. Had that real little one and then got up on a nice one. It's a nice cool October morning bite, my friends. I'm gonna get her back in, guys. Uh, heck yeah, that's swimming dinger, all right. I'm trying to throw around that tube. It's gonna be hard to having, having some luck with the other bait. You know how that goes. Good looking fish though. Look at that little, little melanosa spots up on her. I know how well you can see that on that gill plate. Really, really nice though. Good looking fish, guys. Thank you. Off she goes to be caught another day. All right, everybody. So, been here a little bit. Um, I spent about a let's check about an hour. Um, I'm gonna jump spots. I've been dead about the last 30 minutes. Caught the first two like back to back. So, I'm gonna throw one more one more cast here. Then we're gonna. Hop on over to another little spot that I think I might be able to walk with these uh, shoes. They're actually holding up quite well on the riprap. I have them in sport mode. Alright guys, we're going to take a little pit stop right over here to flick around this bait real quick. Sometimes it holds decent fish. It's real quiet. Uh, this paddle tail should shake it up a bit and maybe get us a little bite on I don't know I do have a lot of time well a couple hours so there's no harm in it feel pretty good about that uh, bigger fish I got on this one so we'll chuck it a couple times and then throw our tube about really really like the look of these tubes I'm hoping they perform well they seem pretty durable too I like the plastic uh, regardless if we catch a fish on it or not I'll do a little, little review about it and talk about it because I am a fan already let's start out with that tube so there are some rocks down here we're either going to snag up or maybe catch a fish There, oh, that's a nice fish. Yes. Always oh, rising like a bass, too. Hard to tell on this light setup. Maybe it's not, it's not that big, but that's something. This is something. Oh, you spin it. There we go, one for the tube, guys. A decent one, a good fighter. I thought it might be under those rocks. Man, I'm calling out these bites. They are on the structure I'm used to catching them on, so that is a good sign. That means our next spot might be pretty, pretty decent. I'll try another one out there. Wow, guys, look at this fog. That is heavy. Man, on our way to our next spot, I can't see anything out there. That visibility is like 20 meters, man. <laughs> it's just straight white. Wow. I'll see y'all at the next part. All right, guys, so we've officially came down to the river. The bite has slowed and uh, got a bite on each of those baits. So right now we're just gonna try to catch some fish. So a little river candy right here. Tie on. I think the white's really gonna pop right now. It's flicking around that tube for a while. I'm gonna save them and bring them out another day because I really, really like them, but it just doesn't seem like the move today. So I'm gonna go with my instinct on this one and tie on this bad boy. Maybe try to try to key in on some white bass. I don't really know. I haven't came out on the river in a few days, so there we go. I mean it pops for sure, so. Gotta adjust this uh, reel in for this jig. Good fish, guys. Feels like a white. 
Nope, baby drum. Little baby drum. So, oh, he's croaking. <laughs> Cute little one. Basically, I have trim down this bait to this tiny little paddle tail. I'm going to use the rest as a uh, Senko later, but uh, I do not have any small paddle tails on me, small white ones, so I figured I'd work something like this and uh, maybe try to get some white bass on. I don't really know. It's uh, pretty slow right now, but I'm going to jump around and try to find some. It's getting hit though, apparently by those little, little fellas, so Maybe we'll key in on that white bass pipe, maybe not. Try to catch a couple more fish before I head out though. And I'm just jigging it out there. This rod makes it so easy. It's got such a nice flex to it and a, a little snappy action, but those little fish skitting on the water, usually a pretty good indicator that there's gonna be some whites by. Oh, there we go. I was just going to say, maybe we'll catch some nice river bass. And sure enough. All right. Half expected you to be a spot. Little good looking largemouth right there, guys. It's a healthy one. Gotta kind of throw them out there past these rocks. Cool, man. Maybe this uh, river bite's picking up. Man, guys, I am excited for the holiday. A little Halloween. Take my boy out. Carve some pumpkins together. We actually already bought some pumpkins and carved them up, but man, they go fast. Well, he paints them. He's too young to really carve them. But probably carved the best one I've ever done in my life. I used like a stencil and everything thing right away in like two days good fish come on in a lot of little ones today guys whoa 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 hey that's a sight for sore eyes little uh Small mouth. All right, look at that pattern. Beautiful. There we go. Bunch of littles today. Well, that bigger one this morning made up for it. Nice, uh, looks like a spot. Little red eye. Little red eye. Good day, though, guys. Good day on the water. All right, guys. Well. I think that was a pretty solid day of fishing. A lot of little ones. We did have that big one on. Uh, I really, really enjoyed both those baits. I'm actually filling out another tackle warehouse order probably when I get home. I've had a cart full for a couple days, but I like to swap in and out on the stuff. You know how that goes. But see y'all at the place. We'll, we'll go over uh, the gear that we threw it on. Um, yeah, super impressed with that worm, man. Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing all right. Hope you enjoyed the video as well. I had a great time making it as I always do. So anyhow guys, I got that boy Mars in the house. He's just chilling, uh, sighing right now as soon as I mentioned his name. Taking a nap. Don't worry buddy, I'm not going to make you come over here and be part of this video, but anyhow guys. So it is getting consistently cooler in the morning. We're having like 
50s. Uh, it's super cool, man. I love, that's my favorite time to fish, like 50 degree weather. That's when I know these fish are gonna be, uh, especially in the morning time too. Like I, I just know the pattern so much better. It's easier for me to kind of see what these fish are doing. They're clinging to structure more. It's a, a lot more predictable uh, bite for me, which I really, really appreciate as a bank dude without electronics. Uh, I do have a kayak. I haven't made a video on it yet. Uh, honestly, I haven't taken it out all year. Um, it's a real pain in the butt for me. You see, I live on a third story floor, um, so I have to lug the thing down. And trust me, I tried it with the cart. It's the way my stairs are designed, it just doesn't jive, man. Uh, but yeah, I gotta carry it down like three flights of stairs. It is a big old kayak. It's one of those Ascend 12 T's and uh, yeah, pretty much strap it up on top of my car and uh, hope not to take flight because my car's only a couple feet bigger than the thing. So real sketchy. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do some kayak stuff. I'm looking into getting a roof rack, roof rack, excuse me. But I uh, just really haven't taken the time to do anything like that. And I'm having a great time doing the bank fishing stuff. So anyhow, guys, yes, the bite is a lot. I'm limited to the bank. I do not have electronics. I like that predictable, cooler weather bite. Unlike the summer where I don't know what the heck these fish are going to be doing. I'm hiking around, trying everything to get them on. But uh, bait-wise, the Yum Swimming Dinger for the win today. Super impressed with it. I took it out a couple weeks ago. I love the action. I didn't catch a fish on it. Ended up switching out for something else, but they definitely uh, helped me take that win today. So let's take a look at these. Um, yum swimming dingers. Basically, it's like their stick bait with a uh, their dinger or yum dinger. I think that that's what their stick baits are called with a paddle tail on it and uh, one heck of a boot too. Look at the size of that thing, guys. <laughs> this this bait kicked, man. Uh, comes in a eight pack, which is solid for me. Typically, if they are baits are this is an expensive, but if they're somewhat more expensive and have less less than eight baits in them. I'm not even going to mess with them because I know I'm probably going to snag at least eight. I grabbed two packs of these bad boys and uh, set out. They are recommended for a Texas rig, Carolina rig, a weightless as a swimming worm or as a spinnerbait or jig trailer. I bet these would be pretty stellar spinnerbait trailers for real though. Um, yeah, it's recommended that you use a three to four hot offset hook and we used just that, it was a three or a four. I'm not 100% sure what that was. I kind of just grabbed some that looked like they fit and uh, they were either three or fours. I don't think that was a five, but at the look at that footage, I'm not trying to do that right now. So I'm trying to finish this up, but I'm imagining I was working a four off, but anyhow guys. So what I ended up doing was downsizing a bit. I was throwing it standard, ended up snipping off about an inch got hit pretty well on that went down to the river tried out that marabou jig snagged up wasn't getting hit with it and uh ended up turning this into a little mini paddle tail so i could throw it on my bfs setup on a jig head and just jig it around trying to get a uh, white bass to strike the uh, smaller bass hit it it was pretty solid but took off probably probably left about that much on there and uh yeah had no issues it still got hit i'm gonna use the uh, rest of the room for senkos or something eventually but Pretty impressed with the durability of that bait as well. So the tube I used was the Guggen Baits Dube Tube, and that's a 2.5 inch tube. Color is natural. I really, really like this tube, guys. I'm all about those three inch and below tubes. Love finesse tubes. My one eighth ounce uh, Eagle Claw two head jigs fit perfectly in it. And I will put those in the description as well as the baits, but comes with that nice kind of packaging, that like protective plastic there. Um, pop one of these open. I thought they were really, really durable. I appreciate the plastic that they're made out of. I love the color. As soon as I saw it, I knew it would do really well in my water. And, um, yeah, it, it fit on my tube head perfectly. I was able to, it wasn't like a crazy effort of me trying not to rip a tube and squeeze the tube head in there. It slid right up in there. No problem, that plastic flexed right around it and um, had a really, really solid action. Ended up kind of 
realizing that I'm, I would have a lot more challenging time just fishing those tubes. Not that I couldn't get bit on them. I just knew I was going to get stri uh, better strikes off those white paddle tails. So I ended up throwing that. So get into the rods really, really quick, and I'll let y'all get going. Basically, started out with the uh, seven foot rod with a fast action tip. I had that paired with a shallow spool reel. Um, I will put all the gear in the description and was running eight pound fluorocarbon on there. And uh, yeah, it was all I needed. It worked perfectly for those swimming dingers. Had a great time doing it. Had enough backbone to, uh, you know, horse in that bigger fish and was light enough for me to still feel those off smaller bites. Avoid that fan at all costs. Um, other rod I kind of caught more fish on, used a little more, uh, especially when I downsized that paddle tail, was the Dobbin Sierra Ultra Finesse Series. And this is a light action, uh, excuse me, a moderate action, extra fast tip, light powered rod, and that is seven foot. Um, really, really great action to it. I love jigging baits on it. I've had that pair with the Corrado BFS XG, so that old high gear, I think it's an 8.2, yes, I am correct, 8.2 gear ratio reel with six pound fluorocarbon on that. But anyhow, guys, I will catch y'all later. I can't get out this weekend to do any fishing, so I hope y'all catch some, some solid fish. I hope you catch some for me too. But take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will catch y'all next time.